this is worth of jumping into. To swim in this little lake naked. Frodo became a golem. <laughs> Come, my precious. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Gwen is changing her shorts into trousers in the car. We are during our breakfast in the Austrian Alps. And this is the third day of our vacation. I need a knife. I am a well equipped man. Gwen said we don't have knife, but <laughs> my previous boss used to say like Jacob can you borrow me a knife? And I was like I don't have any. And then he was always like every proper man needs to have a knife with all the time. Why? Because you never know when you will need to spread something. <laughs> I was already thinking when you will know to stop someone. <laughs> I still love you. No need here. <laughs> Thank you. Why does spread is like this? You could have nice slices. The black part. The weather today is much worse than yesterday. The cloud get to the lower positions somewhere and Gwen noticed there is an elevator and she got an idea instead of walking we will try to ride the elevator and I'm hoping that we will reach above the clouds and it will be kind of sunny there because here down there it's becoming graining slightly and I hope it's not going to be worse yes yeah, very cool too so Gwen will get us tickets for elevator and it will be her first time riding it yeah if you guys thinking to get on a vacation and not knowing which would be the perfect time get in touch with us we will tell you exact dates where you can absolutely get the worst weather <laughs> possible <laughs> during your vacation because we are really not lucky about it but According to weather forecast, tomorrow should be starting sunny again and we are transferring to the southern part of Austria, to Innsbruck, to explore there. So this time we will just suffer 
this moody weather and hope for better tomorrows. Interesting. Yeah. We've never seen something like this, right? Yeah. We have our own bubble. There is a bubble coming for you. So oh, let's okay. see. It's closing itself. Uh -huh. <laughs> hey, are we go are we going to close us or not? It's not closing us really. There is a story. I was a kid and I was here skiing in the Austrian Alps with my father and his friends. You were here in Austria before? Yeah, uh, many times and closed. <laughs> That's like it should do. The close, the doors will close. But my father and his adult friends, like we were skiing, and they did not wait for me down here before before going. So I was supposed to go just by myself, and I was going, going, and the doors I don't understand were not closing. So I was just sitting here in the corner and praying for not falling out of those doors because it's it's quite high it's nothing like not dangerous yeah so it was closing itself it should close but my case was it did not close so it was you alone yeah oh no how old you were at that time i was little like <laughs> 10 or maybe not even 10. that's crazy and your father just left you. Oh, drinking oh. with his friends. Oh no. I will do the same to I'll our already kids. Die. I will already kill you if ever you do this to our children. No. You're just leaving it with, uh, with it by themselves and you're just drinking by yourself as well. <laughs> My mother did not know, I'm not sure, for a long time. Visibility is horrible. We cannot enjoy the countryside, the views, yeah. mountains. So foggy. So foggy. Let's see. That's what mountains are about. They are always unpredictable. I would like to show you guys the amazing views, but enjoy it. Enjoy. enjoy it I, I cannot even see the bubble enjoy with nothing. behind us. <laughs> enjoy the nothing. <laughs> oh my goodness. Can you imagine the lie would snap? And we're falling down. It's no, scary. It's scary. Scary. Imagine, but... scary. It's been three days already, and I'm glad Gwen chose to use the elevator <laughs> because the muscles on our legs are incredible. <laughs> I couldn't sleep for two days already because of pain. Uh, it hurt so bad because of the hiking. It, we did not really walk that much, like maybe in those two days, 35 kilometers. But because of that, we are not keen on that. Muscles hurt. Yeah, and we have to ride elevator because there was there will be more hiking tomorrow as well in Tyrol. Wow. Wow! It's crazy. I never thought... You know guys, I never thought that Austria is as beautiful as, is, as this is. Ice. Because... I really did not know un until Kuba told me about that we are going to Austria for a vacation. Then, when I checked, Oh my goodness, I thought it's only in Switzerland, but also in Austria! So beautiful! You can really see the entire view. We are on the top!
Gwen is walking like she already knows this place. Whoa. There is a huge iceberg which is melting all the time. Sunbathing. Oh, I have six friends. They just came here first. <laughs> I hope to say hi to them. Hey. <laughs> You're sunbathing. You're relaxing nature. Oh. Read of those? I know. Oh, maybe there's poop. Just keep that at this spot. Um, and if they have yellow earrings, that's females. If they have pink, they are male. Ding. Ding! I want ice cream! <laughs> <laughs> Ding! I want ice cream! Will you pet the cow? I'm scared. No. No. Look, she's sleeping. Oh, it's cold. I cannot survive alone if I'm gonna climb in Mount Everest. I think in a few hours I'll be buried, buried with the ice because I'm weak physically. I can't live without water, food, especially food. Of course. And right now, me and my little hobbit have to endure the way down. <coughs> way down is easy compared to way up. Yeah, but the problem is, you know which way you have to go or what road, no. what trail. Maybe we're gonna follow those um, cables. Okay, but <laughs> we're gonna go from the mountain to the hills. One and a half hour to that sea down there to the lake. Sea of clouds. And we have to follow red marks. Let's start so we can reach the bottom before the sunset. Yeah. I'm going first. Gwen requested we will be like those solo hikers who are making videos themselves but because we are here too we don't have to return for the cameras let's see what will come out of it We are lost guys. Kuba lost the red mark. Now he doesn't know where we are going. We're gonna get stuck from the mountain. Oh. Are the signs we need to follow to get to that lake? Mm -hmm. Good. Now, why there are so many stones here? Did they put it in purpose? Mm -hmm. <laughs> That would be stupid, right? From the bottom of the mountain, <laughs> or maybe the giants throw it away here when they were playing. <laughs> I just want to stay here forever in this, in this mountain. I don't want to go home. 
I wanna stay here with the cows. What would you do here without the electric fan? Eat the cows. <laughs> you see that little dot down there or up there? That's Gwen and I have to wait for her all the time. Because... Can you take a picture of me? Let's take a picture. Let's take a video. Yeah, I need water, I need banana. It's too hot, I need to take off my jacket. Oh. Let's have a little prank on Gwen. She's walking very slowly. So I was just... I'm just hiding here behind the stone. Let's see if she can find a way. There is she. There is she. Gwen cannot find us. You lost the red mark? So one big frog distracted you from the road? Yeah. Crazy. It's flying to me. This is amazing, guys. Those little ponds. The road is becoming harder, steeper, but it will not stop us. Gwen is the prettiest Filipina in the Austrian Alps. <laughs> because I'm the only Filipina here. Don't ruin it. <laughs> Don't ruin it. <laughs> and this is it, guys. This is the lake, a little lake in the mountains I've been looking for. This is worth of jumping into. That's not the lake that we looked earlier. But we can jump naked there. That's not the lake earlier. It's not. Oh, that's not the lake. That's dirty. The Jacob decided to swim in this little lake naked. <laughs> Here. Good thing it's just me and him. But I can show you the video, guys. You can see the pimples in his booty. <laughs> Here. Hippopotamus. <laughs> oh. Or cap capybara? <laughs> I hope guys you will you won't zoom it out or else you could see it. <laughs> the water is that cold that's nothing to see. <laughs> I won't think about here, I will think about there in the big lake. Oh, yeah. Our journey starts again. Yeah, it's very warm. I thought I was so worried earlier that it will be very cold here uphill because earlier down there it was too cold but now it's too hot it's really nice for this kind of hike when you can feel the warm weather oh my god Frodo became a golem Come, my precious. <laughs> my precious. Cloud started going up and the lake disappeared. This is gonna be tough. It's becoming slightly dangerous, so me and Gwen have to be very careful. Put it on too because it's getting colder. We're under the clouds already, or with the clouds. Oh yeah! 
We made it. Good job. Down. It's incredible. We were up there and did, 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 did. down here. I think there are cows going down as well because look what happened to their soil. <laughs> Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> Maybe there are cows going down as well from the hill because the soil are deep. Look, something like step on it. So while going down, I told you guys that there might be a cow because there were footsteps so my thoughts were really true because I could see here cows poop everywhere like I have a question how did they climb here it's so crazy like it's so difficult even to climb for humans how much more for cows like how and why and how did they get here it's unimaginable you can't see anything here now we're worried if we could be able to get down <laughs> safely oh my goodness there's nothing that i can see there's something there it's like a tower there oh i can hear a car <gasps> we are near the road already but the question here is where's the lake? The lake's still down there. <laughs> still very far from here. Another. Another rocks. Another rocks too. In deer. Okay. Let's see Jacob's skills in mountain hiking. Let's see if he has this kind of skills. Careful, <laughs> because our shoes are not for hiking. <laughs> These shoes are just for the gym, not gym slippery. And they were 10 euros? Yeah, 10 euros. It's just very cheap shoes and it's not even gonna protect us from any in injuries. We're okay. We're strong and brave people. Sure. He's a Slavic and I'm Filipino. We're born fighters. <laughs> Can you hear the noise of waterfall, guys? It's not waterfall, it's going pink. <laughs> Stop it. So, baby, where is your leg where you want to swim? The big one. The big one? I want because it's cold. Yeah. It's cloudy too. Oh, someone built a wall from stones. Guys, if you couldn't see the lake, it's down there, it's like let's say 50 meters, but the clouds make it horrible to see. Now we got into an intersection of the roads and we are thinking we will just return to our car this time. Yeah, because weather is really not suitable. So during this time, I set up a picnic while Gwen is looking for directions. We will refill the energy, the water, and we will continue on our adventure. <laughs> or we will ask the car to carry us home. Hello ladies. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Hello. Touch her. Touch her. She will lick you. Because I remember when I was young in the Philippines, I wanted to play with the cow with my friends, but they were hurt, like two big things like that. They were like chased by the cow, it was so bad. Oh, yeah. The bull or the cow? I don't know. Wow. <laughs> wow, nothing. To nothing see. to see. <laughs> there is a house. House? The road became way more friendly. And the rain is coming. And the rain is coming. <laughs> Oh my goodness. We are wet, baby. We're coming home wet. That's 
Fine. Gwen's feet is stuck. Oh, it's not that bad. I already wanted to cut your leg. Ah, my arte. Let's go. We are curious with Gwen what could be behind those doors hidden in the mountain. Giants. Giants. Yeah. Secrets of the mountains. It's easier to be running, right? My knee hurts. Oh my goodness. Yeah, you already old lady. Uh, Get keen on that. This is crazy road. But running steep hills is easier than walking, oh. huh? So guys, finally we are already here with our car. So the hike of at least how how many hours be before hours? Five hours? Four, Four hours and thirty minutes is done. We did it right? Did we? Uh, We're strong yeah. people up here. Uh, high five strong ones. We're so proud of ourselves. <laughs> I'm not proud of myself. Because I wanted to even walk up and when No week so we had to ride elevator no if we're gonna ride elevator if we don't ride it we cannot see those amazing spots there because of the clouds and it's already raining there uphill as well so it was a good decision for us uh, really smart woman i am smart really but uh, most of the time i'm stupid <laughs> 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 jacobs is laughing because that's true <laughs> to summarize the whole trip of today so me with Gwen started with that base camp with the elevators it was like the height let's say 2000 above the sea with the elevator we got to the 5500 above the sea meters then we had <coughs> a short look around and then we endured the, let's say it was around 8 kilometers way down to our car. It was pretty amazing experience, like looking on those mountains, like for sure it could be much more amazing if we would catch better weather, but still we both enjoyed it. And I hope you too guys, and I hope you finished watching the whole video. If you like this video, hit the like and subscribe button. This time it's only me here because Gwen went for shopping, some shoppings. So thank you guys for watching and see you in the next part, still from Austria.